Guys, 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 guys. I've got to jump on. I've got to jump on here and, and talk to you because look, <laughs> oh my God. It seems unbelievable that I've been able to get myself in this situation. This is my ideal, this is my absolute dream living situation that I'm in right now. And to think where I've come from just three weeks ago, three short weeks ago, the living situation I was in back there in Christchurch, to think that I've been able to transition myself with just a little bit of money behind me into a position that I'm in now is unbelievable. I'm not going to show you guys the full room right now, but I mean... <laughs> Oh, this is a brand new house, a four bedroom house, it's absolutely amazing, it's here in Queenstown, I've got one bedroom of the four, I've got the biggest one of the four, I've just moved in, I've got a full sized wardrobe with a full length mirror on the inside of one of the doors, I've got the most luxurious, fantastic ensuite I've ever, ever been in. <sighs> I'm not going to say that I've ever been in. A bath would be nice. I've got a shower. But it is fucking nice. And I'll tell you what, the environment that you wake up in, the environment that you spend your time in, the environment that I spend my quiet time in, inside my room, is so, so important to my mental health. It's so, so important to my productivity. And to, to think that I'm a YouTuber now, to think that you know, I'm down in Queenstown now, I'm not working a full-time job, I've got myself a situation now that I'm <laughs> more than happy. You know, I was, I was actually getting quite flustered in the end there, in the van. Um, I lasted two and a half weeks, put it that way, you know. In future, when I talk to people about my van life experience, I'll say I lasted two and a half weeks and it was absolutely fantastic. Fucking loved it. But I did get over it in the end, and I'm a kind of guy that I do need certain things to be in place, you know what I mean? I need to, um, well, I, you know what? I just got sick of it. I'm not going to try and fucking, <laughs> I'm not going to try and um, justify it in any particular way. I just got sick of it after two and a half weeks. So, so guys, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm a bit parched. Um, hold on a sec. Yeah, guys, when I say I've got my ideal situation, I am not lying. Seriously. This is what's known as luxurious boarding. I've got one of four bedrooms in this house. We have a shared kitchen and lounge area. Each of the four bedrooms has got an ensuite. I've gone and bought this 49 inch <laughs> curved widescreen gaming monitor that I'm going to use for absolutely everything I do. I just pulled out my editing suite on this computer. <laughs> you know what? You know what? This th the most m one of the most frustrating things. Okay, I edit videos not every day, but I do edit videos often. And one of the most frustrating things is obviously having to pull yourself out and back into the timeline. You know, to zoom in to see you know this, the the individual sound bars so you can really get a nice a nice cut, and then you zoom back out so you can see the whole thing. I'm a kind of guy that literally I am so fidgety when I do my editing, that I'm constantly pulling it in and out, in and out, in and out. Even when, yeah, honestly, it's hard to explain unless you're a video editor yourself. But I pulled up my video editing software on this computer and literally I, I just absolutely burst out in fucking laughter because the length of the timeline is just ridiculous. It's literally over a meter long. This is fucking insane. And I... I bought it as a Christmas present to myself, okay, I, uh, look, man, I'm so happy down here in Queenstown. It was meant to be, I was meant to do that marathon, I was meant to come down with Tim, I was meant to get this place, I was meant to be in this position that I'm in right now, and if you think anything but that about your life, then you're going to live with regrets, you know what I mean? Do you know what happened this morning? Do you know what happened this morning? Okay. I got over losing 1100 bucks, just like that. I woke up this morning after having packed up, oh, sorry, unpacked all my stuff from my van, moved in here last night. I woke up this morning and I, I, I knew it. I knew it. Deep down, I knew it that I did not know where my laptop was. So before I left Christchurch, with, on the van life, I bought a laptop secondhand from Facebook. It was a gaming laptop. It has to be a gaming type laptop because that, those are... <sighs> 
you know, basically the only type of laptop um, that will handle having, you know, two, three, four tracks uh, over the top of each other in a video editing software program. I've got multiple laptops in the I've probably bought five laptops in the past, you know, six or seven years that I've brought home. I've gone to go edit a reaction video, edit something, you know, with two, three layers on top of each other and it starts stalling and it's not fast enough. It's just whatever you do, that, that graphics card or whatever is just not going to handle the amount of work that I'm trying to put through it. So, um, basically, <laughs> guys, this morning I realized that my laptop was gone and I have no clue where the fuck I left it. I have a funny feeling that I got it out of my car and I put it on top of it. Not gonna lie, I've got a funny feeling that's what happened. So I filed a police report this morning and I thought, you know what, man, what am I gonna do? I knew I wasn't gonna cry about it because, you know, money comes and goes. Money doesn't make me happy, so losing money doesn't really make me sad, honestly. What a great mindset to be in, right? It's very freeing. I have enough money, but I don't need, you know, a huge amount. And what I did have enough money for this morning is effectively a little bit of retail therapy. I'm not going to say that I, I would have bought this anyway, but I am going to say that if I did see something like this in person, which I'd never seen before this morning, I walked into Nolene this morning, which is an electronic store here in New Zealand, and I saw this and I was like, man, fuck, if that's under $3,000, I might actually get it. And it was 2100 and I ended up going online, seeing a price for 1800 offering it to the guy. He said, yes, you can have it for 1800 I said, you know what? I've just lost a $1,100 laptop this morning that I've only had for three weeks. Why not just go the complete opposite way and splash out? <laughs> and, you know, obviously make myself feel better in the process, but also just set myself up with the most epic setup here in my bedroom, okay? And that's what I did. This is a 49 inch curved Samsung, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, fucking Ultra HD uh, monitor. And I'm absolutely fucking stoked about it. So, I thought I'd make this video just to let you guys know what's been up. I'm out of the van, although I'm keeping the van down here, and the cool thing is, is that I've got this base, right? I've got this place to call my base, and what I've got in the van now is a single mattress, a pillow, a gas cooker, an esky, a pot, everything that I used except without all the clutter because that's everything that I wanted to bring with me, all my electronic equipment, all my clothes, it's all out of there. All I've got outside now is an electric skateboard, okay, to, to jet around in whenever I want. <laughs> and I've got my van that I can take anywhere overnight easily, two nights, three nights even at the drop of a hat and I'm also going to use it as my transport and I've then, then I've got this space here which is my literally most epic perfect creation station you know, guys you know what I'm going to tell you this as well right there is my PlayStation okay there's a there's a TV on the wall I've got a king size bed there's a TV on the wall that TV is connected to this HDMI port which comes down through the wall and out right there behind the camera okay I've connected my PlayStation to that I've got my PlayStation controller sitting on my bed. I've got my PlayStation over here with no wires connected right to that TV. I can literally just have my controller in bed and use it. I mean, it is absolutely perfect. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. I do know how I did it. It's money. It's money, bro. And luckily, I had a little bit of money behind me. But that's only because I sold one of my properties. And I only had to sell one of those because I got myself on the brink of bankruptcy because I started Major Key Physiques and poured way, way, way too much money in it way, way, way too early. And it sunk me. It sunk me from being, you know, mildly in credit card debt to heavily in credit card debt with no way of paying it back and um, so I had to sell a property you know and so if I didn't g nearly face bankruptcy then maybe I would never have sold that property and I'd still be in a job that I hate because I want to buy a third property and a fourth property you know letting go of that property 
changed something in my head. Having to let go of that property because I, I hung on to it for so long, man, but I just couldn't anymore. So letting, letting, letting go of that actually started this change in me. I'll tell you that much. Would not have known it at the time. I did feel it. You know, I have like, I've, sh I've shed a lot of my stuff. <laughs> Literally everything I own is in this, this room easily. You know what I mean? And that's allowed me to move around. Um, fuck, man. I can't actually explain what's going on. I can't actually explain this transition. But what I do want to say is that I'm so happy here. I, I slept. Oh my God, I slept like 11 hours last night. Not only did I need it, but I just felt so comfortable in this place. When I, when I rest my head, when I lay my head down last night, I felt so comfortable that I just fell asleep and stayed asleep. In fact, I probably went back to sleep too many times this morning and woke up groggy. So next time I probably won't do that, but I, honestly guys, you know, that's just one way that I'm trying to explain how good I feel right now. Um, I will show you guys around the house. I'll show you guys around my room. It, like I said, I've got a TV on the wall, which is something I've always wanted. Um, there's one thing I will say before going. I do pay for this. You know, I pay. I'm not going to say exactly how much I pay, but if you do want to know, hit me up on Instagram and I'll let you know. Um, but in my eyes, including Wi-Fi, power, gas, it's well worth it. In fact, I'd probably pay more. I would. I'd pay more. So I feel like it's a good price. There's no tourists coming around New Zealand at the moment. It's all, you know, pretty much locals or people who've been here for up to two years. You know, of course, once they reach their two year limit, if they can't get sponsored again or something, I think they have to go back to their home country. Um, there's a shitload of of international people here in Queenstown. I'm absolutely loving it. It's fun. It's really fun. And it was fun when I had my van. Now I've got my van just to go overnight. And I've got this absolutely amazing environment to live in day to day. Now, I can get a full-time job. I may get a full-time job. But for now, I'm going to put all my energy into YouTube. This video actually is coming out before a whole lot of other videos. You know, I needed to make this one because it's, it's live. This is real time. It's December 18th. It is 4 p.m and my heart is going 101 beats per minute because I'm excited. <laughs> okay, my resting heart rate is normally at about 50. <sighs> it's just perfect. I've got absolutely everything I need, which is not much. I love my electronics, okay? I love my plain clothing. And I love having an ensuite where I can put my glasses down, I can put my contact lenses there, my deodorant, my, you know, I don't have much. I love a clean and clutter free, but including the nicer things in life environment. That's what I like. That's what I bought for myself. That's where I am right now. And guys, if you're out there in a situation that you're not happy in and you do have a bit of money, that you're you know holding on to for dear life consider spending at least some of it to get yourself into a better position I've spent thousands of dollars to get myself in here with this and with my electronic equipment I, you know but it's priceless the feeling I'm feeling right now is absolutely priceless I pay I'd pay A million dollars doesn't mean shit to me now. Let me just say that, you know what I mean? If you say, oh, what, what would you do for a million bucks? Well, probably fuck all, because a million's not even that much these days. What's a million going to get you? A million more problems, probably. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't want to be rich one day, and I'm not going to say that I don't have faith, that if I do something that I'm passionate about, day in, day out, put my, put my all into it with a genuine attitude, I'm not going to say that I don't believe that money will come through that one day. I hope so. But if it doesn't, I don't give a shit anymore. And guys, that's all I have to say. I'm going to get this clip 
onto this computer and edit it. I could probably bring up the whole fucking 20 minute clip on the on the screen. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. So, have a great night guys, or, or day, wherever you're tuning in from. It is 4.02 officially. My, my heart rate is reduced to 91 beats per minute. <clears throat> it's December 18th. And uh, I wanna say cheers. Cheers and Merry Christmas. The videos that are about to come out, they are dated. I hope you enjoy them. Reaction videos, I haven't started number 66. I finished on number 67, which is Demario Davis, which you're gonna see right after this video. So stay tuned guys, have a great night, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.